Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of Birth and Borders. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Amada Broja and Levi Kogel. And are our youth having a fair crack of the whip under Thomas Tuchel? Welcome to the Birth and Borders. Ain't got no time for no stories yet. We are the risers, we're the performers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe and turn on that bell. Yeah. So guys, um, it's hot, very hot. I'm filming this late uh, um, Monday, probably the video will come out on Tuesday. And in London, it is scorching. It is gonna be even hotter. And um, 40 degrees is expected in London. So stay safe, keep hydrated, and you know, go out in that sun, have a little Spanish siesta, and don't overdo it in the summer heat. But having said that, I, I've been busy making trips down to the skip because um, I'm getting rid of a uh, my mother's old property. So um, it'll be another busy day for me tomorrow, hence why well, I haven't been making as many videos. Um, but before I get into the video, I'd just like to um, send my well wishes to Sebastian Haller, who's been diagnosed with testicular cancer. And it's not nice when um, a footballer, um, or anybody actually for that matter, um, gets diagnosed with that illness. So I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. Right, into the video. And I tend to do things the other way around. I tend to plug myself at the end of the video rather than at the beginning. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? subscribe to the channel and if you like the content smash that like button and help me get to at least 50 likes for this video right okay on to the video now and let's talk amada broja because this is the only news that has been going around on twitter spaces today about the fact that he's close to joining West Ham, some people are saying that West Ham want him on a permanent deal. Some are saying that Chelsea are only willing to let him go on loan. But for whatever reason, he's going to be go going. And um, there's a lot of arguments about whether Tuchel has given him a fair crack of the whip. Of the whip? Fair, you know, a fair crack. So um, for me, I'm, I've got two sides to this. First of all... Um, does Tuchel use his youngsters well enough at Chelsea? Hmm, yes and no, yes and no, because um, last year he didn't give a single academy player any minutes at all in the Premier League. And he should have done at, in the, that last game of the season when we were definitely going to be finishing in third position. He could have given um, at least some like a Harvey Vale or someone at least 15, 20 minute run out towards the end of the game, but he preferred to play the likes of um, Malang Saar and people like Ross Barkley. Oh, is that okay? Ross Barkley scored the winner, but that's by the bye. And I just feel that if the, we want to create this pathway for our youngsters, then he needs to trust them a bit more. But having said that, he, he you know, took Trevor Shalabar, who's gone, uh, you know, incidentally, he's gone out on, what, four loans before he's come and made his Chelsea league debut, and he trusted him in some big matches. He played him in the European Super Cup and other big matches um, he played him in as well. So he is, there is, like, that pathway there for some of the younger players. And if you look at what happened with um, Mason Mount as well, the first game he came, left him out of the side. Mason Mount, rather than sulking, he said, you know what, I'm going to fight my way back into the team and he was a permanent fixture in, in his side. So, um, with Broja now, um, is it, I don't know what discussions have been had between player and manager. So, I don't really want to speculate too much, you know. But I do feel that there was a pathway. <coughs> so, excuse me. Ah! Frog in the throat. Yeah, there was a pathway, I feel, for um, Broja this season. Because we've let Lukaku go and we haven't got that out and out number nine in the squad. Um, Havertz plays in that false nine position. Sterling can play in that false nine position. But if we wanted to try something different, then, you know, Broja's a man. Broja's a man who can come in and try and, you know, give us some, an option off the bench. But did he want that bench option? 
or was he demanding a place in the first team? As I said, I'm not privy to the conversations that went on. But for me, I feel that, you know, if he was offered a squad place and he turned it down, then rather than being on Thomas Tuchel, I think it's more on, on Broja because um, Broja can't expect to come in and be a permanent fixture in the side that yet. He's, he's still very young and he's got to work at his craft before he was sort of guaranteed a first team spot. And then, is he good enough to be a squad player at Chelsea? Yes. Is he good enough to be a starter week in, week out? Not yet. Not to say he hasn't got the potential to be a starter for us, but I just don't think he, he, there's things in this game that he needs to iron out before he becomes that, you know, that, that permanent fixture. And not a lot of youngsters at that age um, um, get into the side straight away. You know, you've got to be an extremely talented individual you know like an Mbappe or a Messi those sort of players who or Haaland and people like that but um, you know he's not reached those heights as yet so for me you know I think a spot on the bench you know bit part role and growing into the team you know you never know if he's been coming in and doing the business then you know he may start more regularly but you've got to earn it you don't expect it and you know a lot of fans who are a bit are upset about this situation I watched a lot of his games when he was at Southampton. So most people are watching him, just saw the highlight reels and saw all this. And now anyone can look, most people, I said not anyone, most people can look good in the highlights reels. But it's what you do over the 90 minutes. I saw him in a few games for Manchester, for Southampton um, this last season. And he misses more sitters than, than um, Lukaku. So all those who are having a go at Lukaku, he's, he, he missed some big, big, big chances for, for Southampton. And when you, I think it was, what, seven goals in the league? In the same amount of starts as, as, as Lukaku and people like that. So, you know, is he going to be the answer to our goal-scoring problems? Always people are saying, you know, the grass is always green on the other side. But when you look at his stats at the moment, you know, is that saying ready for Chelsea? No, not quite yet. I think another loan would have done him good, or as I said, a bit part role for. But for me, you know, it's still a lot of work to be done. And if he hasn't got that patience, if he's not willing to stay and fight for his position, then is that the right mentality that we need at the club also? Moving on to Levi Colville, because with him, Cole, Cole, <clears throat> from he's, he's got, he's talented. I rate this player very highly and he's giving me those sort of Reese James vibes. Um, did I catch it? Did I catch the mozzie? Maybe. Yeah, so he's giving me those Reese James vibes where he was at um, Huddersfield last season. And, you know, pretty much man of the match every week. You know, manager, players, fans alike, waxing lyrical over this guy. And I think he can be the real deal. And... Um, so there's a lot of false reports going out where he's demanding a first team place in the club, otherwise he's gonna it's gonna leave. Um that's not quite what he said apparently. But he, what he says is he wants a fair crack at the whip, which is um you know it's it's am I using that right terminology, fair crack of the whip? Put it in the comment section. It doesn't sound right. It's, it sounds right, but it doesn't sound right. But anyway, um he um Says, yeah, you know, and that's what all well and good because what he wants is a proper chance. So if he does well in training, if he plays in matches and he does well, he wants to be picked. He doesn't want to not be picked just because there's a senior pro ahead of him, but not performing. So, and that's fair enough. And that's all you can ask for. If he feels that he's outperforming some of the, the you know, the bigger names in the team, um, the ones who've been bought for a lot of money, but not getting that opportunity then I can see his point. And, you know, he'll be on Thomas Tuchel if that's the case, because I don't believe in... You know, it's it's got to be about your performances, not on how much you, you cost the club or anything like that. So for me, if he's willing to stay and fight for the for his place, yeah, good on him. Um, so, so all these reports saying that he wants to leave if we sign a couple of defenders are not true. And you've got to look at it as well, is... His pathway is not really going to be blocked because, you know, OK, we may be getting three in, but probably get three or four of those out because, you know, we've already got rid of you know, Christensen's gone and um, we, uh, he's gone. Um, Rüdiger, Rüdiger's left. Aspilicueta may be going as well. Hopefully Malin Saar goes because I don't really think he's good enough for the club. And so you're looking at that. That's four players out. Malin Saar played what? 
15, 20 games last season. So if um, if if, if, if uh, Colwell replaces uh, Malinsar in the squad and plays the sort of similar sort of games to what Malinsar played, then yeah, I'm happy with that. So it looks like we've you know we've re 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 revitalized our um, interest in. Jules Kunde, so Kunde and Kimbepe may be coming in. Silva's getting older as well. And so we've got um, Koulibaly. And then with, with Shalabar, Colville, that makes six defenders. So depending on whether we can still play the three at the back, that's two, um, two def six defenders for three positions. So yeah, there's enough games for everyone. If we move to a two in the, at the back, it may be a bit more difficult, but we'll see. But for me, I just hope that you know, Thomas Tuchel does give... Coville, Coville, oh God, I keep saying Coville, Coville, and um, the right opportunities. And, you know, if he does well in training, similar to what happened with Shalabar, then he can propel into the first team because I think we'll definitely regret letting him go. Um, so I'm hoping patience pays off because we, we saw with Shalabar, patience pays off. We've seen um, Mason Mount go on two or three loans. Now he's a permanent fixture in the side and... Um, Reece James only did one loan, but you know, he's he's in the team. But you have to go through you know, that learning process before you you get into the side. And uh, some of the youngsters nowadays are a little bit impatient and want it now. Um, but you know, the ones who have left are they doing a lot better? You know, we can argue the fact that Gway is having you know, a good time at Crystal Palace, and Tamori is doing well. Um, even with Livermento, okay, he's got that injury, but if you even look at Livermento, um, he started like a house on fire for Southampton and he kind of tailed off a bit and he was on the bench a few times. So that's what happens when you've got youngsters. That's why sometimes you can't overplay them because their muscles are still growing and they're still learning a bit about the game. So that's why sometimes it's, it's good just to, you know, not play week in, week out, you know, just to ease yourself into the side and then you gradually um, come into the side when you gain a little bit more experience. So, guys, what do you think? Stick it in the comment section below. Do you think it's going to be a mistake letting Broha go? Um, do you think that people like Cole will need to have a little bit of patience or do you think they deserve a place in the side now? So, um, let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys. And don't forget... I said at the beginning to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Until then, there, guys, take care, enjoy the hot weather, those of you in England, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.